hey guys, today on Motivational Monday show, we have Dwayne, I don't know if I'm going to add the last name, <laughs> Dwayne Shepherd, also known as Shep Beats. Shep Beats, hi guys. <laughs> Shep Beats, as you know, uh, I am a DJ here in London, and I also travel uh, to play at you know a lot of carnivals over the world. Uh, DJ for a lot of the main parties here in the UK, yeah. uh, and my DJ has taken me to a lot of the major cities uh, yeah. here in Europe as well: uh, Berlin, Switzerland, uh, Paris. I've been to Barcelona as well, so yeah, that's that's who I am and, and what I do at the moment. So how did you get into DJing? Ah, uh, funny story. Uh, I was DJing for a long time. Okay. Uh, I've been DJing from the time I was about uh, 12 years old. Damn. Yeah. Damn, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how it happened. Uh, one day I called a friend of mine yeah. and I said to him, what are you doing? And he said he's just at home messing around with his dad's old records. Yeah. And uh, he asked if I want to come over and I said yeah I'll come over and we just started goofing around yeah, with these, yeah, yeah, yeah. these old records and uh, you know weeks pass, months pass, whatever and you know probably about the time I turned 13 he was like let's be DJs <laughs> <laughs> I was like okay what the As hell kids you know I was like, what, the hell is that? what the hell does that mean you know yeah. and anyway we, we went on a journey we started practicing we started saving lunch money we, we <laughs> bought records with our lunch money uh, Are we talking vinyl records? Vinyl records, oh. yeah, yeah. So at the time, you know, when I was when I was that age, there was yeah, no yeah. there was no CDs around, yeah, yeah, there was yeah, no CDJs, yeah. there was no uh, controllers, there was no laptops. Oh, you gosh. know, all that came a lot later. You yeah. know? So I've, I started back in the vinyl days. You yeah. know, Technics twelve hundred turntables. Jeez. Yeah, real old school. Uh, real I, old I still school. have my records in Barbados actually. Yeah. yeah. I still have my records. Nice. Uh, and yeah, we 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 started practicing and and eventually we uh, we started playing at friends' birthday parties. We got no from these birthday parties. Yeah, we started yeah, playing yeah. at our schools, school events, school pageants, wow. uh, school fairs, school end of term parties, yeah. that sort of thing, you know? And then uh, eventually, let me tell, I, I, I moved to London <laughs> yeah. uh, in 2006. Then I uh, I emailed Bus Pepper Promotions <laughs> okay. and I asked them for a shot in their party in 2006. Yeah. And, uh, it didn't happen immediately. Yeah. Actually, three years later, <laughs> in 2009, okay. I got a call saying, come and have a trial at Bus Pepper. Yeah. And I uh, guess the rest is history uh, after that, you know. So in that, that three year gap, what was you like? Did you still do events or? No, no, in that three year gap, I wasn't working as a DJ. Okay. I was still keeping myself abreast of music. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you know, I actually didn't buy equipment here uh, or anything. My equipment was still in Barbados, you know. Uh, I used to go home and do, you know, crop over season and stuff. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. event here, one event there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing heavy. And all my equipment was still left in Barbados. So when I got the call from Bus Pepper, that's when I actually went and <laughs> got my equipment. Okay. And, you know, started taking it a lot more seriously up here. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So, and so that was your biggest event, your biggest, uh, first biggest event. Show. Yeah, yeah, well, it was my, my first event ever oh. uh, here in the UK was Bus Pepper. So it was a, a good place to start. Yeah. So you've been, let's say 2009, it's not 2017, that's eight full, full on years. Eight full years, yeah. What what sort of struggles have you been through on the way? Uh, you know, it, it, it's been a real journey. Yeah. Uh, let, let me just say that. You know, when when I came on the scene, you know, as a Barbadian DJ, mm. Beijing DJ as they say, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, there are Beijing DJs around, but mm. you know, small events, you know, things that weren't, you know, what what I think I want to achieve out of DJ. Yeah. You know? Um. So so I set myself on a path to become a big DJ you yeah, know, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and start traveling and and, uh, and and playing different cities and that sort of thing like that. And the struggle has been how do I get known? Yeah, yeah. How do I up my game? Because yeah. you know the, the, the market that we're in is so competitive. It is very. You know and, and they're incredible DJs who I'm mm. you know happy to be you know that my name is being called in the same uh, circle as them as well yeah. you know uh, and, and we're being booked for events mm. uh, where in, in the opinion of the promoter, these are the best DJs in the world. Yeah. So to be called in, in that, that's a big achievement. And yeah. it, it's been hard to do that. Yeah. You know, uh, we have to, I've had to prove myself time and time again. Yeah. You know, it's been 
hard when you're a junior DJ yep. to go into the accomplished DJs mm. and play a set yeah, yeah, that yeah, captures yeah. people's attention. Because when you're when you're a junior DJ, people are there for the mainstream guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. when you come on, you know, people go to the bar, people go up for smoke, yeah. that sort of thing. And then you know you're left with twenty people in front of you yeah. when the main DJ had a thousand. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Uh, so that's been that's been one of my biggest things I've had to, to overcome. How do I keep myself uh, relevant? relevant? Yeah, 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 and especially when you take over after someone who is considered to be the prime DJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, for those people who want to get into DJing, what would you sort of recommend? Uh start. <laughs> start. You know, like like, and I, I don't think you know that many things are impossible. You know? yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So learn the craft learn about it before you start mm. before you buy any equipment learn about it think mm. about what you want to do as a dj think about what it is you're trying to accomplish because it's, it's so many different styles of dj yeah you know and then once you figure out what you want to do just try to be the best you know what <laughs> I mean? like, like there, there's no sense going in to it to be mediocre yeah you know there's no yeah. sense uh you get overlooked you get bookings you mm. get home saying oh my god why am i not getting <laughs> why is no one looking at me <laughs> you know i mean but if there are junior djs out there you mm. just mentioned like one of the biggest challenges is being that junior yeah DJ. yeah absolutely how did you get past that uh practice okay yeah practice there, there was one there was one time i mean i don't do it as much as i should now <laughs> but there was one time where i used to play music for five six hours a day yeah non-stop every day yeah uh oh. so 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 i'm comfortable with my my library of music yeah, on, yeah, yeah. on my laptop i know where my stuff is i've played enough now where you know you get to know the go-to sounds yeah, yeah? yeah there's yeah. something you know when a party down there's some sounds that you need to play yeah, to make sure to... that people capture people's attention and get people going mm. uh there's a few tricks of the trade that i've learned along the way <laughs> <laughs> i want to show on camera <laughs> but but you know there's there's things that we've learned yeah that uh yeah it, it, it means that when when we go on the performance that we put in mm. it, you know it's always a bit different from mm. someone else you know and, and that's what you have to do you have to try to stand out you mm. know you have to try to make sure that you have your own song you know because it's no no sense coming out and saying I'm gonna play just like how Shep plays. Yeah. Because Shep's already got Shep. Yeah, exactly. And I you know, I don't I don't play like Ryan and yeah. I don't play like uh, you know, Lord Hype and I don't play like Master Basis, you know, mm. I, I have I have my own song, at least I think so. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh and, and all of them have their own songs as well, mm. you know. And and that's what's important, you know. Being being relevant with the music but in your own way, the way that you interpret it, the way that you feel it, the mm. way that you think it should be delivered, that's what for me, that's what DJing is about. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And then when you when you're able to give that to someone, that's when people appreciate what you do. So that's the DJ inside. You yeah. also have uh, Rocket Tuck. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How long has that been going? So one of the owners of Rocket Tuck, uh, it's been going since 2013. Okay. Uh, you know, we we've, we've had some struggles along the way in mm. terms of we wanted to do club nights and mm. that sort of thing. It'd be really difficult, especially in the UK, because of licensing and you know mm. venues that we want to use yeah you know, the licenses aren't there yeah so uh, for those people who don't know about rocket tuck yeah tell them about rocket tuck, tell, tell them about rocket rocket tuck. tuck is uh, <laughs> a promotion uh, that, that i run yeah and it's you know one of the best things that i've done it's <laughs> one of the best parties that you could go to in my opinion you know every time we put on a party you know we always get excellent feedback yeah. you know we put a lot of thought into what makes people party mm. uh what makes people want to come back mm. uh, and, and what makes people go away thinking this is this has been one of the best experiences in my life yeah and one of our biggest events uh is the premium breakfast cruise mm -hmm. and that's every Notting hill carnival saturday oh. yeah we went to barbados last year mm. this year barbados is sold out already sold out harp masters sold out august 3rd we'll be there yeah as i said best in the team breakfast crazy. unlimited breakfast we're trying to do something special when it comes to Rukatuk as well. And you know, one thing about it is that, you know, as much as them from Barbados or whatever, mm. you know, people look at these bands as being British. Yeah. You know, so everyone back home in Barbados, they look at this as a London cruise mm. and a London event coming to Barbados. Yeah. You know, uh, they know it's powered by Bajans. Yeah. You know, three three of us, mm. you know, Damien Seeley, uh, Kilburn, this and myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're all from Barbados. But people look at us as being, you know, you know, London. London. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to Barbados. What's, yeah. the, what, what is next for, what, for you in general? Next? So now uh, we're off to Berlin Carnival in 
two weeks, yeah. yeah. So June first we fly. We've got Trinity Jungle Juice arrivals on the Thursday night. We've got uh, Wine and Jam by Trinity Jungle Juice again on Friday, mm. followed by Hydrate, uh, which is a party that Kanah has been involved with, mm -hmm. and. Uh, then we go to on the same Friday we go to Soka Twins. They have a party called Jump Up, yeah, which is quite a big party as well. So we are at that, and then we follow that with Up, uh, the rooftop party, which is the best party for Berlin Carnival hands mm. down, if I might say so. And then we're on the road with uh, Soka Twins and Carnival Explosion, and then that's Berlin Carnival done. Busy. Two weeks later we go to Bermuda. Oh my gosh, I can't Bermuda's keep Heroes up. Weekend, yeah. yeah. You know, we have other parties here as well, and other events that we're involved with here. So, mm. it's a busy year so far. Real uh, busy. Yeah, you've yeah, already yeah. done two carnivals. You've got one, two. Yeah. I can't even keep. We've done like, two carnivals. We've got another uh, th three more coming. That's crazy. Three more coming. I've been asked to do Labor Day. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy oh, and we're busy. off. We're supposed to be off to Dubai in November. So, that's what's happening. <laughs> I thought I traveled a lot. Yeah. You know, I, like, I don't. In comparison to you it's, guys. Yeah, it, it's picked up. It's picked yeah. up. You know, last last three years of DJ Shet Beats has been quite an amazing journey. You mm -hmm. know, uh, we've worked hard again. You know, there's some there's certain things that other DJs who are mainstream have done, mm -hmm. and I've not followed that path. Uh, so, so you know, most DJs out there who are big, they either they have a popular mixtape series. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so Perry Ryan obviously is the leader for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mixtapes out there, or they're on radio. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm neither. You know, I don't, mm. I don't really mix tape that regularly. Mm. Uh, I do a few here and there, mm. and then I don't. I'm not on radio. Although we've just started yeah. at the breakfast show. Yes, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So that's something that we try to do because you know, to you know, it's always about what can we do next to make sure that people know who we are, yeah. take us seriously, that sort of thing. So we came up with we're going to do this uh, breakfast radio show, which is every Wednesday, six a.m. So to eight a.m. <laughs> yeah, early, that, real that's early. Online. Uh, Shetbeatscanata.com. Mm. It's also on TuneIn Radio. It's also on uh, Apple Radio. Yeah. Um, then where I'm going to link yeah. all of his information. Yeah, you you find you find everything, and then yeah. you know you can find uh, in in that I also do a segment, 15 minutes every time, called Battle of the Beats. Okay. And that's also available on my own SoundCloud right. after the show, and you can get the show on Catch Up if you're not able to wake up at 6 a.m. Because I know it's hard. <laughs> it's a struggle for me. <laughs> it's a huge struggle for me. So all that's all that's happening. So we try to fit in so many things. So many things. Know, plus a day job. Yeah, I was gonna say plus a full time, plus a like full time job. Yeah, that's yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah. Do you not get like really tired? I do. I do. <laughs> but I sleep when I can. You know, when, once I. Have the time to sleep. I just you know, sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please yeah. make sure you keep up to date with Mr. Shep Beats. Yeah. I'll link all yeah. his social media, uh, SoundCloud down below, and check in on Wednesday morning from six to eight. Six to eight at uh, the breakfast show. At the breakfast show. Yeah, yeah with Kanata Ali. Been good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for waking up so yeah. early. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. All right. Peace. Peace out, dudes. <laughs>